Brutalism is, is one of the most controversial type of architecture of the 20th century. It's made mostly from concrete, it's massive, it's kind of solid geometries. It takes lots of space and it's there, you know, it's very brutal. Many of the buildings of brutalism was built in the middle of 20th century after the Second World War when concrete was quite an affordable material. In this video, guys, I'll show you top five my favorite brutalism buildings in London. And now let's go. Killing House is a 16-story building located in East London. It was completed in 1957 and it had a huge renovation in 2001. The architect built four blocks around the central tower uh, with the consideration that four wings of the blocks gonna face each other, such he will encourage residents to communicate. However, he also paid attention to the privacy and if you look at the building, all the balconies are not facing each other, giving some intimacy to their residents. This council estate had a huge problems with drug abuse and other social issues and it was sold to private lenders later on and now this house is actually the luxury apartment and this is one of the buildings where I really wanted to go one of my favorites Robin Hood Gardens located in Poplar East London it was built as a council house in estate with homes spread across streets in the sky. It was two blocks like this, they were facing uh, opposite of each other and the recent redevelopment scheme decided to remove all of the blocks and it was quite kind of a big protest among famous architects because this is a masterpiece of brutalism but Whatever it is, the government rejected the proposal and this gonna be demolished soon. It was 1,500 residents living here in one of the blocks. One block is demolished completely and this block stays, but it will be demolished. Here, some people are still living even so the windows is a bit shady and now it looks like a ghost estate. The capacity of the building itself is 200 flats and it's a mixture of mezzanines and one floor flats and even some flats uh, has the capacity up to six rooms. And it's such a clever design. All the bedrooms actually facing to the yard, they're not facing this uh, road. This was made to protect the residents from traffic noise. This is the space where the second block of Robin Hood Estate were located that was already demolished. Now here is the building site and this hill is uh, man-made, it's not natural. It's very dirty, it's very dusty from outside and realizing that the people are still living there. Some parts of the building now are in Victoria and Albert Museum. So when it's gonna get demolished, you know where to see that. Just next to Robin Hood Tower, three minutes walk and you will get the Belfront Tower, which was built in 1984 and it consists of 26 stories, 146 homes, but the building was sold recently from social housing to private investors and currently it's under refurbishment and will be private homes soon. Worth to visit, especially just next to the Bofran Tower, quite a few other brutalist masterpieces. This structure looks like shredded submarine throughout Cold War, but this has a more peaceful meaning. This is nothing but the boiler, communal border that supplies heating in the surrounding building. It's quite an Instagramic place, so why not to take a few pictures for Instagram? If you haven't followed me yet, by the way, follow me now. National Theatre is one of the most famous public art venues in the United Kingdom. It's publicly funded. At the time of opening, this brutally style wasn't liked by many of Londoners. It was criticized and they were saying that such ugly building is not deserved to be in the center of London. 
and still it actually comes in every top 10 of most hated or most loved buildings in London and you guys let me know in the comment section below you either love it or hate it I'm very curious to know your opinion even though it was criticized when it was opened now the National Theatre is protected by the government four year of the theatre is open to public so let's go and check out what's inside everything inside is actually made from concrete that's such a feeling of being so insignificant thanks for watching guys and i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll publish more and if you did enjoy it then please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because i publish lots of videos about travel like the series about russia now london and then i'm gonna go somewhere soon and also healthy lifestyle so subscribe to my channel hit the like and comment what you'd like to see in the next video thanks for watching bye